Okay, GF Images and Productions in association with Derwent Training Association present Macaulay's Theorem Uniform Distributed Loads. In using the Macaulay ramp function for a uniformly distributed load, we start from uh, point A. This is just an arbitrary distance from the zero datum. We did this and this was in order to comply with the requirements of the function. We then made the assumption that the UDL continue to the right hand extremity of the beam. Now this has two consequences when we use the Macaulay's method. All right, number one, for um, a uniform distributed load that covers the complete span of the beam, the Macaulay method is not appropriate. Can't use it. If we wish to find the slope and deflection for UDLs which span the entire beam, then we need to use successive integration methods. All right. Number two, for a UDL that starts at A, but does not continue for the entire length of the beam, we cannot directly apply the Macaulay term uh, to our bending moment equation for the reasons given above, All right, as in, in number one. Uh, we need to modify our method in some way to accommodate this type of loading. In effect, what we do is we allow, allow our UDL to continue to the extremity of the beam, and we counter this additional loader by introducing an equal and opposite loading into the bending moments expression. So for the beam here, what you need to do is you need the same again with all beams, you need to determine the deflection of the beam at its center. Now what we're going to use for EI, the flexural stiffness, we're going to use the figure 100 mega newton meters squared. So what we have to do, normal, we find the reactions at the supports by taking the moments about RB. Alright, so you've got 10 RA equals 30 times 7 plus 80 times 5 plus 50 times 3. You have the, uh, the left hand end 76 kilonewtons, right hand end 84 kilonewtons. Now what you need to consider is what we discussed in the classroom yesterday is when um, you're using Macaulay's theorem you go to as roughly about a metre away if it's in reality of course, um, from the edge of your beam. Then you form section XX. So what you're doing now is you're going to take moments from the left of X and X. So therefore the bending moment is equal to 10 cubed, 76X minus 30, X minus 3, plus 50, X minus 7, minus 20 divided by 2 times x minus 3 to the power of 2 plus 20 divided by 2 x minus 7 2 all right so and as since the derivative of uh, the second derivative of y and the second derivative of x is equal to b bending moment divided by flexural stiffness we end up with this sum now I'm not going to read it out because it's so long-winded but I'm going to leave it up here for a couple of seconds uh, and you can read it all the way through. Feel free to move back and forward through this video, press pause uh, and read it if you want all, right, all the way to the end. What we're, um, what we're doing is finding the deflection and then once you've done this you now move on to your boundary conditions. The boundary conditions are when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, uh, therefore b is equal to 0. If you looked back at the other video regarding simple supported beams, you'll find that this is exactly the same. When x, however, in this case is equal to 10 and y is equal to 0, all of the Macaulay expressions are therefore positive. Then we, we can do the calculations. If you remember from um, yesterday, any negative expression in a Macaulay express in the Macaulay expressions you just get rid of and replace with zero all right it cannot basically compete or deal with negative distances so the Macaulay expressions are positive so therefore a is equal to minus 879.3 therefore when x is equal to 5 basically plug in the numbers 10 to the power y is equal to 10 to the power of 3 divided by the flexural stiffness, therefore 76 times 5 to the power of 3 divided by 6, minus 30 divided by 6, so on and so forth. You get all the way through to the end and then eventually your 
um, answer y is equal to 0 0.0287 meters. Change that into millimeters and your deflection will be obviously um, 28 millimeters, 28.7 millimeters. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, if you need any help regarding this or regarding the actual uh, lesson plan, feel free all right, to email me during the week and I'll answer your questions.